Uh, my name is Andrew Carter. I'm head teacher of South Farnham School, which is in Farnham in Surrey. It's a teaching school and an academy. The new national curriculum is really quite interesting because for the first time what we're doing is linking pedagogy with the curriculum and for I think uh, schools they will now be able to work out what they're going to teach although that is largely defined but more importantly how they're going to teach it and that's the great excitement of this curriculum. The challenges are indeed its opportunities because of course in the past we've been given a curriculum and a national strategy and everybody's been explained how to do things right down to sort of how a lesson should be planned. Now we're being given some freedoms, freedoms that we've asked for for a long time and many schools have actually taken. So I think some of the challenges in it, it will schools be able to actually create their own curriculum because within this new national curriculum is the opportunity for schools to actually create things for themselves, to link it to the local environment. All of those things are challenges and yet at the same time the greatest opportunities of all. The new maths curriculum, that's probably one area where teachers will find it a little bit challenging perhaps because it appears to be going backwards. And I say appear because what it's actually doing is just emphasising the things that good schools have done for many years and that is put in place some of the basic foundation stones of mathematics. Things like learning number facts, tables if you like, standard forms of doing a multiplication and a division actually thinking what is it that will help a child be a mathematician later. I think there's quite a lot of work that teachers will need to do sometimes perhaps to improve their own mathematics and there's lots that can be done there. There's the National Centre for the Excellence in Teaching Mathematics courses that can be run. I think teachers will need to just work a little bit at that because sometimes, we, particularly with our younger teachers, and maybe teachers who haven't been through some of the structures we're asking them to teach now because they themselves would have been taught in a different era. Um, but the CPD, of course, is for teaching schools to do, and a large amount of support has been given to teachers' schools to help do that. The great opportunity that lies in this, and I just see the new national curriculum is just brimming with opportunities. The greatest opportunity is this will bring the school community together, and schools will actually, for the first time, genuinely be working together in school-to-school -school support. And that really will leave a legacy in the system, because it will start with the curriculum, but once those links have been created, they'll last for a long, long time.